Hi, I'm Haley with My House Education Center. In this video, we are going to discuss thinking about text and summarizing text that is narrative in an oral language and listening comprehension lesson. Oral language and listening comprehension lessons are designed to focus on building oral language skills in our students, that is, listening and speaking skills. These skills are foundational skills that are really important when students are learning to read and write. We hope that you can devote five to eight minutes daily to building oral language skills in your students. This might be during your AAR routine, the read aloud component, or it might be another time of day. When we're talking about narrative text, which is what we'll be discussing in this video, we're talking about literary text that tells a story, and it's centered on the questions who, what, when, where, and why. If students can answer these five W questions, who, what, when, where, and why, about a narrative passage, they have a good understanding of the story. So in order to summarize or think about text that's narrative in our oral language and listening comprehension lessons, we're going to have students create five W cards, who, what, when, where, and why. The who is going to identify the characters. The what identifies the most important event. So to identify this event, we have to think about how the story ends, the final resolution. If this most important event had not happened, the story would end differently. The where identifies the setting. The when identifies the time. This could be the time of day, the year, the season, um, a certain time in history. And the why identifies why the most important event or the what took place. The what and the why are probably going to be the most difficult for students to identify. Just always remind students that the what is the most important event. And if this hadn't happened, the story would have a different ending. So in order to go through this part of our lesson, students are going to need five W cards. And these are effective because thinking about a passage in smaller bits of information makes it easier and it lets our students practice and think aloud. Research tells us that students who think aloud while working remember more and make fewer errors. So let's dive into our manual here. We're using our oral language um, manual, which is the colors and shapes of language. And I want you to open up to page, let me find it, I marked it. <laughs> We're going to open to page, I'm sorry. Here we go, 57, which is in unit 18 time, page 57. And here I have my listening to my story, which is activity three. And our story is, what was the matter with Mark Martin? So as we've talked about earlier, you as the teacher, you're going to read this passage to students. You notice that I have underlined or you can highlight the areas when you as a teacher are going to provide pictures for students while you're reading the narrative text. So you go through all of that. You've read your story for students. Then what we're going to do is turn to the next page to activity four, thinking about the story. This is when we're going to utilize our five W cards. You want each student to have a set of cards. You can either print them off the computer and have students cut them up. You can give students index cards and have them write the words on it, whatever works for your classroom management. And in activity four, it's going to take you through A through F step by step of what to do for five W cards thinking about a story. So first you're going to give them the cards. Students can work in pairs. They're going to lay out the cards on the left side of their desk, who, what, when, where, why, and they're going to discuss with their partner and orally answer each of those questions. You as the teacher can monitor this. Then they're going to share their answers. You can have discussions. And then what we're going to do is we are going to rearrange the cards into this order, who, when, where, what, why. It's a little bit different order than we did at first. And that is so students can easily summarize the story into three sentences. Let me show you that summarizing, um, the summary sentences. This is a good um, anchor chart to use with your kids. And it changed the order of our five W cards so that student can have a three sentence summary. The story was about who, it took place when and where, what, because why. So if students already have their answers to each of these questions, they should easily be able to put together a three sentence summary. You can have them do that orally first and then they can even take it into writing. Another way you might want students to organize their thinking for this 5W card um, activity is you could have them do a chart. You could do this together where you are the scribe or each kid does it or they're in pairs, but again, just answering those questions, who, what, when, where, why. This would help them take their answers into writing before they do a three sentence summary. During the time um, of your lesson where students are using their 5W cards and they're thinking about the text and they're, they're summarizing their narrative passage, students are work, 
working actively. They're talking, they're listening to each other. They might be working in pairs. This isn't silent time or teacher directed time. You're there to support them. Of course, the first few times you do these activities, you'll need to scaffold for them, do a lot of modeling, but as they get used to this routine and as they understand more what a summary is and what these questions truly mean, you should be able to gradually release the ownership of this learning to your students. If you have any more questions about using the 5W cards for narrative text, um, thinking about the passage or summarizing the passage of a narrative text using the 5W cards, you can refer to your OLLC training materials or you can look in your Colors and Shapes of Language manual.